Hi, this is Matt Mercer, and uh, we are filming today from my in-laws' house. And we, you and I, are going to get to open up, unbox, a lot of new telescope equipment that's arrived, still sealed in the box. We're going to go from a beginner's perspective, open it up, see what equipment we've got, see how to put it together, and it should be a lot of fun. So let's get started. Okay, here we are, and uh, brand new in the box. Uh, this is the Explore Scientific ED115 uh, triplet EPO uh, telescope. So we're going to open the box here and see what we've got. Okay, box is open, ready to pull out the contents. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and lift the case and the scope out of the box. Fairly heavy. Move that over there. And there we have it. Okay, let's go ahead and see what uh, what we have inside here. We have latches on both sides of the case here. So let's see how these work. Okay, just flip the little handles up, click them over 90 degrees. Pretty simple, pretty intuitive. Flip those down. And here we have it. I'll set that down there. So we have this nice pre-cut foam uh, interior and all of our different components. We're going to take these out one at a time. Okay, let's see what we have in here. First of all, we have some really nice, uh, it's very thick, very durable foam insert. This is an open hole for your finder scope. And we have four screws here. Here we have our diagonal. So I want to show you what comes with the ED115. So we have this very nice diagonal. As you can see there. Tighten that off. Alright, let's put that back, and then let's pull out the OTA, the optical tube assembly here. And the first thing I notice immediately is that the weight is heavier than I would have guessed. Um, you can see I'm able to do this curl right here with this uh, super awesome handle that they have at the top of the OTA, but it's, it's very solid. This is a, you know, it's heavy. Um, surprisingly heavy. Okay, so one of the things I want to do is uh, take the lens cap off. Now the lens cap is is made of metal, kind of a surprise to me. It's not plastic. Uh, I'm going to take this off and this is the FPL uh, 53 O'Hara glass that we have on the uh, on the scope and give you a view of that. All right, put that back on. The other thing I want to do is show you the dew shield. So the dew shield basically, it's right here and it just slides out. So you just telescope out like that. And we'll go ahead and put it back. And that is the dew shield. Okay, so I also want to demonstrate the uh, focus. Uh, so you're going to see as I do the coarse focus here. Draw tube just comes out like that. You can see the um, measurements on there. And then we have the smaller focus dial right there for smaller incremental focusing. Okay, so a brief intermission about the patch that I'm wearing. Uh, I want to tell you about this. This is super cool. So my wife, Birgit, made this on her embroidery machine, uh, which everything, and I'll get closer so you can see it, everything from the blue background to the white stars to Saturn to Cassini, uh, all done by the embroidery machine and its 
little onboard computer. So pretty amazing. Take a guess how many stitches are involved in just this one patch. Literally over 40,000 stitches, if you can believe it. It's pretty amazing. So big thanks to my wife, Birgit. A shout out for her first astronomy patch. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Okay, we now have a Shizu in the shot. Uh, that's Polo. And we're now going to open up the uh, new tripod mount. So this is the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. And it comes with two boxes. The tall box is the uh, tripod, obviously. And the shorter box here is the mountain head. So if Polo or Shizu will help, we'll go ahead and open up these boxes and see what's inside. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so trying to see which way is up for the box, so we open it in a logical direction. It's always nice when you see the team lift sticker, only after you yourself have carried the, uh, the heavy piece of equipment. You see it afterwards. Alright, let's just go ahead and open this up. I'm going to lay it flat. Let's go behind the film. All right, so we got it down flat, and we're going to go ahead and use a key here to open this up. Try a little bit longer key. Ah, this is a good one. Probably my next purchase needs to be a pocket knife so I can open up this tape. Okay, so back to unboxing. We've got the uh, top open on our uh, tripod and a little bit more tape, but this is probably easy enough I can get it with my hands. And let's open up this puppy. And all of our packing material. So great, really cool. Okay, a couple of things I see right off the bat. Um, first of all, we've got a nice uh, box. Oh, wow, this has got the Pole Master in it. Um, the QHY CCD came in with the tripod, which is super cool. And we got the ADM as well. Go ahead and set this part back down. And first thing we have. Z tripod legs here. All right, really I like that. I like the look, I like the feel. Um, I like this. I call it sort of stormtrooper white, if that's an official color. I don't know. I just made that up and open that up just a little bit for right now. See what else we have. Okay, we got a few more things in here. First of all, at the head of the box is this kind of heavy box. I'm guessing this is the counterweight. Let's open this puppy up. Yeah. Again, it is in a beautiful shade of Stormtrooper white. All right. Oops. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to set that over here. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have our tray here for eyepieces. It's going to go right there. Set that aside. See if there's anything else. I don't want to overlook anything. And guess what? EQ6R Pro comes with a second counterweight. So we'll put that aside.
And this is Ginger. She is our Shizu Maltese. And she's sitting up there on top of these Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount head, gazing at nature. So we're here at the in-laws house still for this weekend. Hey, Ginger. Ginger, how you doing? It's like, wow, I'm really up, up high now. <laughs> She doesn't wish to be filmed today. Nope, she's like turning her back on everybody in YouTube land. I think she's so she can see it. She's just being a little shy, actually. And there's Ginger, our Shizu Maltese, who is uh, sitting post atop the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. Ginger! Ginger! Up here! <laughs> she's enjoying nature. Just taking it all in, thinking, why am I way up here? <laughs> all right, we'll get you down, girl. Okay, so now we're gonna open up the uh, mount head for the EQ6R Pro. So I've got my handy key in lieu of a pocket knife. We'll go ahead and open this up. Now let's see what we have underneath this big sheet of thick styrofoam, well packed. Oh, it's a beaut. I'll go ahead and tilt the box up and um, there you have the the mount head okay so this is the uh, mount head inside the EQ6R Pro box it's just beautiful um, well packed you've got that I call it stormtrooper white with a super cool space green um, you've got your bolt hardware top left corner some cables top right corner um, really solidly packed and one little tip um, I don't know that there's even a case available for the mount head, so save the box and save the styrofoam for your mount head. Great way to travel. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the uh, mount head out. Um, it's pretty heavy. Um, looks like it's got a handle on one side here. So I'm gonna pull it up through the plastic bag by the handle. All right, and this is tremendously heavy. I will tell you, it is quite solid. Okay, so now comes the challenge. So again, the black dowel that I'm referring to is this little stem that's sticking up right here. And this is that threaded shaft. You see it popping up here. So first thing we're gonna do is take that rectangular hole that we just saw right over there. We're gonna try to seat it right here. It's very, very heavy. So we'll see how well I do. I'm gonna go out, out of shot here. grab this and what I'm doing is I'm feeling where that rectangular hole is and I'm gonna line up there's the rectangular hole and I'm gonna line this up over the dowel see how this does okay not too bad I've never done that before I'm gonna hold it in place just till I can sort of make sure we've got everything situated roughly correct then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gently tighten these azimuth bolts. One here, one here. All right, so we've got that roughly there. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this shaft. Here. Okay, and um, by the way, the, you notice in the last shot, this thing that came down, this is the counterweight shaft. So that can be tightened there. Go right for tight or I can slide it up and tighten it just to kind of get that out of the way so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to now tighten this primary shaft we're going to have the shaft go up into the threaded port on the bottom of this mount head and tighten that in place and there's the family coming back from a shopping trip all right so let's see how this does okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to try to attach the primary shaft here um, up underneath here. Let's see how it goes. So the first thing I'm trying to do is figure out clockwise versus counterclockwise. And looking down at this black knob, it is a counterclockwise rotation of the shaft. So we're going this way. Whoops. That's probably a blooper. 
All right, so there's a washer underneath there. I've got that on pretty tight. So now the mount head is snugly anchored in there. Next thing we want to do is grab our washer and this knob down here. Let's take our eyepiece tray, which is sitting right here, and let's go ahead and put this here on the shaft. I'm going to open that leg up just a little bit, put the washer on next. And this is going to be right for tight, sort of upside down. So it's turning counterclockwise also. The thing you're going to want to do so you make sure this thing doesn't uh, shift in right ascension is you have a clutch right here. So you want to tighten that clutch up, keep this thing that uh, is a little bit loose as shipped from the factory, keep it from uh, flopping down. So make sure you tighten that up. Okay, so there we are, there's the bubble level. And I'm not directly over it just because of the microphone that is on top of the... Um, there, I'll get snug in a little bit better there. So you can see that's just about centered. Again, the camera's not truly over the bubble. Um, and again, as I'm referencing what I call those clutch knobs or clutches on the tripod, there you go. Right for tight, left for loose. Now we're talking earlier about the azimuth knobs. There's left and right. And of course that's going to pivot your mount head when you're doing polar alignment. And then we have, which we'll set shortly, um, we have the altitude or declination. And that's going to be set to our latitude, north latitude, once we get to that point. Okay, and so real simple, if you've ever used Velcro before, you can attach the uh, handset holder to uh, one of the tripod legs. And this is the, uh, uh, the SynScan handset that comes with your uh, EQR6 Pro uh, mount. And of course you've got a couple of cables in here. One is your power cable, and the other connects your hand controller. So we'll go ahead set the power cable aside and let's go ahead and attach this. Now there's two jacks on the bottom but this uh, I call it sort of an Ethernet like jack that may not be the exact term for it only fits in the left one and that goes right in here in the holder and then on the mount we have a slot here called hand controller, pretty self-explanatory, and there we go.